everyone. We're back for another motor group. We have some fun activities ready for you today, so here's what we'll need to get started. A ball, your balloon from last week, and if your balloon from last week is no longer holding enough air, you actually have two more balloons in your OT folder, so go ahead and take out a new one. A pair of socks or something to use as a bean bag, some tape, some circle pieces of paper or anything that you can put down on the floor to remind you of what to do. I happen to have some circles and I put some spinny marks on them, but whatever you have is fine. You'll need three. A deck of cards or something else to put down to mark on the floor. This piece of paper right here. Small broken piece of crayon. Your laundry basket and a big, huge pile of blankets, pillows, bean bags, whatever you have, as many as you can find. Before we get started with our obstacle course, let's flash back and practice our ball skills and our balloon skills. You can review the ball skills more quickly, practicing each three times, but let's spend a little bit more time on the balloon skills and practice those five times each. Toss you the ball, you're going to catch it with both hands together and throw it back. Next is the bounce pass. Bounce, catch it with both hands together, bounce it back. Getting so good at stopping and kicking that today we're going to practice sliding to the side, then stop, then kick. So I might not kick the ball right to you. I'm going to kick it to your side. Slide, then stop, and kick it back. You're going to hold the ball with both hands, drop it. Catch it with both hands together. You try. Molly's going to toss the bean bag or other soft item by holding it in her hand with her palm facing up to the sky or the ceiling. She's going to reach back behind her body and then as she reaches forward, she's going to step forward with her opposite leg and let go. Now it's time for some fun with the balloon. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to tap the balloon to you and you're going to catch it with both hands together and go ahead and throw it back. Nice job. Second thing we're gonna do is tap. We're gonna tap it to you, and you're gonna tap it back. Now we're gonna tap it back and forth and see how many times we can do it without it hitting the floor. Now you're gonna see if you can keep it up in the air by yourself. with the balloon skills as we did. I always forget how much fun it is to play with a balloon. The first station in today's obstacle course is the pillow and blanket mountain crawl. Get on your hands and knees and crawl over the uneven surface of the pillows and the blankets and the bean bags and whatever else you have on there. Try not to fall off. The second station in today's obstacle course is the hopping station. Notice how we have six playing cards taped down to the floor and Molly's going to pick her favorite foot and she's going to hop on it, making sure she lands on each card as she hops. If hopping on one foot is too challenging, no big deal. We have a few tricks to help you practice. You can start on two feet, bend, jump up, and then land on one. Put both feet back down, bend, jump up, and land on one. Nice job. And you can do that the whole way through. You could also progress to starting on one and landing on two. Start on one, land on two. The third station in today's obstacle course is the dizzy walk. Notice how we have three round pieces of paper taped down to the floor. We put a little spin symbol on them just for fun. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. Molly's going to start and she's going to walk up to the first dizzy disc and she's going to spin around. And then she's going to walk to the next one. Spin around one time, and one more, spin, and stop. The fourth station in today's obstacle course is the coloring station. You've done this before. Tape your piece of paper up underneath the bottom of a chair or a table or some other surface, and you're gonna grab your crayon, lay on your back, and you're going to color one of the designs in while laying on your back. 
Notice how Molly's pinching the crown between her thumb and her index finger, and she's working hard to fill in the entire shape. Do your best, and remember, it's expected that younger kids will go outside the lines. Now let's see what it looks like when we put the whole obstacle course together. We start with the pillow and blanket mountain crawl. Then the hopping station. The dizzy walk, turn and spin. And the coloring station. Now go through the obstacle course five times. I think I'm still dizzy from spinning on the dizzy walk. Hope you had fun. See you next time.